Dear friends, thank you for joining us as we continue with our series of, uh, <clears throat> of Gnostic Labs for Practical Application. Tonight, we're going to make use of the mantra Pharaon. This is such a powerful mantra for you to be able to unfold consciously in the astral plane. So let's go ahead and let's address a couple of things here before we start talking about unfolding in the astral plane. Because first of all, why would you like to unfold in the astral plane? <laughs> and this is a very valid, very valid question. Well, certainly you would like to unfold in the astral plane, in your astral vehicle, because you would just like to do it consciously. As of right now, unfolding in your astral body. It is something that you have been doing since the moment that you were born in this body that you have. Because every time that you go to sleep at night, that moment in which your body falls asleep, your soul, your soul, this thing that is known as, as, as people refer to as the soul, uh, this thing slowly disconnects from your body it levitates and it leaves your physical body behind and it does that for a purpose it is necessary for your astral vehicle to leave your body because it is then that that the vital body can start the processes of reconstructing regenerating repairing the physical body so those nights where you wake up in the morning and uh, you still feel tired and beaten up, those are nights that your, that your vital body has had a really difficult time repairing, restoring, regenerating, recreating cells, doing all of these things within your physical body to bring it back to its optimum condition. So what you would like to do is to continue unfolding in your astral body, but certainly to do it in a way that is conscious. Because today, just like we walk around today here and there and we drive our car and we walking around looking for the phone and we have the phone. Actually, not too long ago. Funny story. We learned about somebody who was texting someone to see if they had seen their phone. They had not realized that they had the phone in their hands. So this is the condition that we are today. We're walking around looking for the glasses. We have the glasses on our head. We're looking around for the keys of the car. And the keys have always been on the table. We just don't see them. So this is the condition in which we are. And because we are like this, but we're in the individual state, when we go to sleep at night, we walk into that astral dimension and we just keep walking around in the same level of on awareness and sleep that we are walking in the visual state. So we want to do it. And we want to do it consciously. Okay. But are there any dangers? And this is another very common question. Are there dangers for me to unfold in my astral vehicle? Dear friends, the answer is no. You have been doing it every night since you were born in this physical body. And what has happened to you? Nothing other, <laughs> other than you having some bad dreams here and there. Hmm? Other than those nights that you have had nightmares. <clears throat> Nothing has happened to you. So now that we're going to do it consciously, there are no dangers. There are no dangers. Actually, we want to make use of unfolding consciously in the astral body. Because it is then that we can meet those loved ones who have passed away. You can invoke them. You will see them. Hmm? That's a good thing. You will be able to inquire about the mysteries of life and death. You would be able to learn directly from the lips of the masters. And there is a lot of value behind that. Because when it comes to our insignificant person, we're just a messenger <laughs> carrying some Isle's wisdom forward. But we have as many defects or more than you do. We suffer just as more as you're suffering. So the best thing would be just to get the wisdom directly from the lips of the great masters. And there's value behind that. So there are really no dangers for unfolding your astral body. We want to do it because we certainly have been doing it for as long as we have been around. <clears throat> and we would love to do it consciously. And 
another question that we have gotten a lot is, how is it that the soul comes back into the body? Very valid question. Very valid question. The soul comes back into the body because the soul is connected to the body. And it is connected by means of a silver thread. This thread is known as the thread of Antakarana. And it connects the soul to the physical body. It connects actually directly into the heart. And when you unfold in your astral vehicle, that thread of Antakarana can stretch to as far as the law will allow you to go in your astral vehicle. Hmm? So if you can travel with your astral body to the limits of the infinite, it will, it will stretch all the way there. And by the time that your physical body starts shaking in the morning, the moment that you're getting ready to wake up, then it allows your soul, because it's connected, to return into the physical body itself. So there you go. The Strata Mantakarana is a very interesting, a very interesting device that, that we have. Because <clears throat> at the moment of conception, and those of you women who have had the, the, the privilege of bearing children, you know very well that while the baby is in the womb, you can speak to it. The baby will be able to hear certain music and the baby will react. It will hear the voice of the mother, sometimes the voice of the father, and the baby will react in the womb. Well, the baby, the physical body of the baby reacts in there because the soul of the baby is still not in the body of the baby. It gets into the body of the baby the moment that the baby takes its first breath. Hmm? That happens. And uh, uh, while the soul is connected, when you speak to the, to the baby, the vibration, the power of the word makes that thread of Antakarana vibrate. And through those vibrations, the baby feels them. He recognizes them. Hmm? This is very cool. So speaking about the power of the word, we want to make use of the mantra of Pharaoh. We want to make use of words of power. That is the meaning of mantra. And the mantra tonight is the mantra Pharaoh. So what is it that we're going to do? Now that we know why is it that we want to unfold in our astral vehicle, now that we have a good feel of what are the dangers, which in reality there are no dangers, and what, how is it that the soul can return into the body, we know that we are in a safe environment. So let's go ahead and let's lay on our back. If it is possible for you, make sure that you lay on your back with your head pointing towards the north. Hmm? If not, make sure that you are your head is pointing towards the east. Okay? If you point your head towards the north, you allow all of these natural magnetic currents that flow along planet Earth. Hmm? And just like the humble compass, your body makes good use of those flows, of this electromagnetic flows. So you lay on your back. And as you're laying on your back, let's go ahead and let's relax our muscles. So if it is at all possible by now, you should be resting in a very comfortable posture. There should be no lights distracting you. And let's go ahead and relax our muscles. So let's go ahead and do our visualization of our body populated by an infinite amount of little gnomes. <clears throat> and let's take a deep breath in one, two, one, two. Let's start visualizing that these gnomes are leaving our body out the soles of our feet. And as that happens, we can feel that relaxation going from our feet immediately into our ankles. We bring that relaxation into our calves and into our knees. And we continue breathing normally without making any significant effort. We 
we continue observing and we are also very grateful grateful that we have this new opportunity to put these exercises to practice a new opportunity to try again if we have tried it before and we allow that relaxation then to permeate through our thighs and we continue observing these gnomes leaving our body one by one it is in our thighs that we have our femoral arteries these femoral arteries are governed by the constellation of Saturn and they help us with the transfer the conduction the flows of various energies Through our femoral arteries, we carry energies that we return out into the cosmos. Through our femoral arteries, we carry energies that we receive from the cosmos and we deliver to the interior layers of the earth. And these flows of energies, they help magnetize our creative waters, our creative power. And as we continue observing these gnomes leaving our body, we bring all of that relaxation into our creative organs. And as we exhale, we allow that relaxation to continue expanding in our body and we relax the muscles in our belly. We allow our organs to relax. So we intentionally, deliberately allow any kind of stress to be shed from our intestines, from our spleen that happens to be the seat of the vital body. We release any tension from our stomach, from our pancreas, and we release any tension that may exist in our liver. Because our liver is the seat of our astral body. We continue breathing comfortably. And we bring that relaxation into our lungs. <clears throat> into our heart. And we take a deep breath. As we exhale, we allow the sensation of relaxation to start inundating our body. We continue observing with our objective imagination these gnomes walking out the soles of our feet. And the relaxation extends into our shoulders. And it starts irradiating into our elbows, our wrists, our hands, our fingers. And we 
you feel the relaxation then extending upwards in our neck. As we continue to breathe without making any significant effort, we relax the muscles in our jaw, we relax our lips our tongue and we relax our eyes and all of the muscles of our face and we relax our scalp Bring that relaxation up toward the very tip of the crown of our head. And as we take a deep breath, as you exhale, allow your body to completely relax. Perhaps you can feel as your body sinks into the bed, as it sinks into the mat or onto the carpet. Now that we have closed our eyes, that we're laying on our back and we have relaxed our muscles. Let's always invoke with the help of our innermost. And we say, Divine Father, Father of mine, you who are my true being, you who are my internal God, we ask of you, we beg of you with our soul and our heart. That you guide us through this exercise. We ask that you allow us to remain conscious so that we may unfold with our astral vehicle. And once we do, we ask of your guidance. Allow us to take advantage of this opportunity to learn directly from the lips of the Masters. Allow us to inquire about the mysteries of life, death. And give us a shock of consciousness. so that as we return into the physical vehicle that we develop the necessary love for the work itself so that when we come back into our body that we can continue working internally in the three factors of the revolution of our consciousness with a renewed sense of purpose. Without abandoning not even a fraction of our relaxation. Let's bend our knees so that our feet are resting comfortably so that 
like the soles of our feet are comfortably resting on the bed or that they are comfortably resting on the carpet. But let's raise our knees. And we can bring our hands up to our abdomen. We can have the left one not on top, but above the right one in the solar plexus. And in this comfortable posture, you can chant the mantra Pharaoh. And you can do it mentally, just like you can do it verbally. So let's start. Fa. As you continue chanting this mantra, make use of your objective imagination. See yourself standing before the pyramids in Egypt. See yourself standing on that powdery white sand. Contemplate the majesty of the structure. And do so without identifying yourself, without fascination, but with gratitude and gratefulness.
See yourself there. Be there. Let go of any reservations. Let go of any concepts. Let go of any fears. See your feet in those white powdery sands. Contemplate the majesty of the structure. Allow yourself to feel the warm breeze and continue chanting the mantra. Fa Continue with the practice and be tenacious and consistent with the exercise. May all beings be happy.